Muhammad Qasim narrates in a dream. On February 23rd, by the command of Allah, I am doing some work and the people are telling me, You are misguiding the people by using the name of Allah and His Messenger While the others say, You are writing these dreams yourself and you are trying to make it seem to the people that you are the Mahdi. And the large majority claim that I am a liar. Guys, in response to this, Qasim does not claim the position of Mahdi, nor does he want it, nor does he think about it. The only thing he is worried about is how he could deliver these dreams to the Ummah, because from Almighty Allah, this is his obligation. The Mahdi is a position that is earned, and Allah knows best who he will be. And let me just say, even the very word Mahdi brings about uneasy feelings for Qasim. And I can honestly understand why, because of all the negativity of our generation. So we dismiss that very word with Qasim. Qasim is a simple, normal Sunni Muslim man, no special deeds, except he is guilty of being utmost truthful in speech, and having a strong desire to be the friend of Allah, the Almighty. With these qualities in heart, I don't suppose why Allah will not bestow special mercy on the rest of us. And remember, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, When the hour draws near, a believer's dream can hardly be false. And the truest vision will be of the one who himself is the most truthful in speech. For the vision of a Muslim is 45th part of prophecy. That will be because the prophethood and its effect will be so far away in time. So the believers will be given some compensation in the form of dreams. It will bring some good news or it will help them to be patient and steadfast in their faith. So let us be patient and steadfast in our faith. And of course, everyone has a free will to believe or reject these dreams. So as per our humble request, please at least watch all the videos to get the full image. And inshallah, we will see one after another, these events will unfold. And most of us will regret not having been the first believers of Muhammad Qasim the son of Abdul Karim, and think deeply if these dreams can possibly be fabricated. It's impossible. They are none other than from the Almighty Allah. Our job is only to believe these dreams. Brother, he is someone who encourages the following in the Sunnah of Rasulullah There is no sin or misguidance in simply believing Qasim's dreams, since he is not imposing any laws in the religion of beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Rather, it is a huge risk in rejecting these dreams. Qasim does not want your allegiance nor for you to follow what he does, not at all. Just that we simply believe his dreams. And remember, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is always still our primary teacher, our guide, and our leader. Allah himself has said to Qasim that if anyone calls you a liar, then let us both supplicate to Allah to send the curse of Allah upon the liar. Qasim and us will humbly accept this challenge. And whoever uses the name of Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam to mislead the people, Qasim and those who stand with him testify to Allah that they should remain in the deepest depth of hellfire forever. Ameen. Ya Rabbul Alameen. Wallahu al-Aleem. Jazakallahu khayran wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.